Good Tuesday morning, Philippians chapter 2. So if there is any encouragement in Christ, any comfort from love, any participation in the Spirit, any affection and sympathy, complete my joy by being of the same mind, having the same love, being in full accord and of one mind. Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility count others more significant than yourselves. Let each of you look not only for his own interests, but also to the interests of others. Unity in the church. It can be a rare commodity. Paul desires that unity for the Philippian church because he loves them. His happiness is bound up with their spiritual welfare. He says, complete my joy. My, my deepest joy depends not on my personal creature comforts, but on your spiritual progress. Unity should be the identifying mark of Jesus' people. Unity is our most effective tool for leading the world to believe in him. And while unity does provide these wonderful external results, more important is what unity in the body of Christ does in here. When we're in unity, we're more aware of the presence of Christ. His presence encourages and brings life to our soul. Unity facilitates feeling loved. And yes, yes, Jesus loves me, even if I'm abandoned and alone. But I feel it when I'm in unity of faith with others. Unity like that requires humility. Pride and self-conceit, they lead to strife and debate. Humility will preserve unity. I dare say that humility is a byproduct of being a Christian. Humility is at the heart of Christian character. Blessed are the poor in spirit, is what Jesus said in the Beatitudes. There, there can really be no holiness. Take, there is no true holiness that is not grounded in humility. God gives grace to the humble. Humility implies unselfishness. As a Christian, we must not put ourselves first. We must not regard our own wishes as paramount. We must consider the feelings of others, their desires, their wants. Only true humility will enable a person to do this. And the fruit of that humility is unity. Lord, if I have your mind, I know I will not be self-seeking, but I will empty myself of arrogant pride and choose to serve others. Help me to follow your humble example, Lord. Help me to be obedient. Be exalted, O Lord. I glorify your holy name, Jesus. And I confess you are in charge of my life. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow.